Hi everyone, welcome to the Text Builder YouTube channel. This video is a tutorial about how you can use Autopilot to create factually accurate articles by providing updated information as a context for your article. And all this can be done by simply providing a link to a top ranking article on any topic of your choice. So let's get started. This is uh, our outline for this video. First, we will see how to fetch data and how to clean the data. Then next, we will see how we can add our own outlines or use context for outlines. Third, once the article is generated, how to schedule it on our website or how to post it on our website. So let's get started. First, you have to log into your Text Builder account. Once you're logged in, click Autopilot. Once you are on this window, select the project where you will be creating your article and then click single article. Here in this window, you can now see there are options to create informative article, guide, how to, tutorial, top 10 listicle, product review, top 10 best products and news articles. For this video, we'll be creating informative article. Once you click informative tab, you will see this interface and I'll explain you. I'll just walk through uh, this interface before we can uh, start creating the article. So first on the top, you will see enter your article title. Here you can add your article title. Next, it's also pretty straightforward. You can add your targeted article link here in this window. Just copy and paste the website or the article URL here. Next, you will see the main context which will be fetched by text builder from the URL which we, you will provide here. And next is where you will provide your outlines which can be used as a context by text builder to create the article. And lastly, here you can see that if you want to add any custom prompt, you can add that prompt here. Although it's not required because text builder is already optimized to create amazing articles, uh, you won't need it. But in case you decide, you can add your prompts here. And you can add your own prompts or you can also select any prompts for this library. There are many prompts available for everything you may need. You can select anything from here. It's up to you. So uh, for this window, uh, we will be creating article about, first we'll go to Google. I'll paste it my keyword here and for this video it is what is Google one. So once I search the key my keyword I can see here the top ranking articles. So I can select anyone for this video I'll be selecting this one and I'll just quickly look at the article. This looks good. So now what we have to do is just copy the link of this article go back to your text builder autopilot window and paste the article here. Once you pasted the link here, click from your and what text builder will do, it will fetch the data from that URL. And now you can see here, text builder has already fetched the data. So this is a very important step. If you want to create factually correct article and you don't want any unnecessary information. So just increase the size of this window by holding on to it and then just skim through the data and see if there is any unnecessary information added here because what happens is that text builder will fetch the data from the URL and there can be advertisement or there can be other links which can be added in the data you have to make sure that you manually review it and remove any unnecessary information which is already added in this context window. So we will remove all this information because we want the article to be as accurate as possible using our context information. Yeah, looks good. And then next, uh, you also have to make sure if any outlines which are unnecessary which are added here, you have to remove those as well. 
In this window, you can also paste your outlines uh, or the talking points uh, which you want Text Builder to use during creating the articles. So once this is the information is cleaned here, click checkbox. So Text Builder can use every information provided here. Your outlines are automatically generated outlines here as a context for the article. And then on the top of this, make sure you select a proper article title. This is very important because it can actually affect your article's quality as well. Because AI don't know about what we are writing, it will use the information what we provide. So make sure this is descriptive or it's clear for the AI to know what we want to write about. So we will clean this. Um, Text Builder automatically will provide you an article title, but you of course can add it. And I will also suggest that you edit this always and make sure that it is accurate and as per your requirements and it should be descriptive as well. So it looks good. What is Google One? A guide to plans, pricing and services offered by Google. So yeah, this looks good. Now we have to come on the right side of the screen. We have to select our output language. It can be any language from the drop down list. For this video, we are using English. Now select the article length from this drop down. For this video, we'll be using 1000 to 1500 words. And I just want to mention here that this article length is a suggestive length of the article. It's not necessary that the generated article will be within this limit. It is possible that the created article is more than uh, uh, the length of the article is more than 1500 words and it is also possible that the article length is less than 1000 words so it is just a suggestive length because this is how ai works and this is not only limited to text builder it's any tool you use so it's just a suggestive length so just to be sure about that and then you can select from this drop down about the point of view you want to use first person second person third person we will be using second person you can now then select tone of the article informative educational for this uh, because this is an informative article we'll be using informative then you can select bold we will select yes and you can select number of faqs three five or seven we will not use this one and then you can select the key takeaways so for this article, we'll be using three key takeaways. And then next is if you want text builder to create AI images, you can select that here. But remember that each image you will create with text builder will cost you additional 250 credits. So just to be sure about that in this drop down, you can select one, two or three images up to your requirement and then you can select the photo style, the image style. There are a few styles available here. For this article, we'll not be creating any image. Then next you can select a text overlay. This is basically a text overlay for your key takeaways. There are three options available. You can select any of them. And then you can also select the location where it should appear in the article. It can be in after intro paragraph in the middle before conclusion paragraph or random location. So for this article, we will not be using this one. And then next is if you want text builder to add external links to related websites, you can select this option here. But again, this will also cost you additional 250 credits. So be sure about this. You can select how many links you want. It can be one, two, three, or random number of links. And also you can select the location where these links should appear in the article. It can be in the intro paragraph, in the middle, in the conclusion, or a random location. So for this article, we'll not be using this. So now we are, have provided all the required inputs to Text Builder. And now we can select generate posts. Because we already have created uh, the article, we will not use this generate posts. So once you click generate posts, you will go back 
uh, the text builder will automatically take you back to this window. Once your article is generating, you will see a red icon here next to the title of your article. And once the article is completed, you will see a green check mark here. So let's see how the article was generated and how it sounds. So this is our article. And let's, I will be adding the link of this article in the description so you can also see. And I will be also posting it to our this website where you can read this article as well. So always make sure that any AI article you create, you go through it and do the necessary changes because again, it's AI. And I always suggest that you manually review the article and remove any unnecessary information and um, remove anything which is not required there. So this is always a good thing to do, especially if you are going to post it to your money sites and you don't want anything which is not up to the standard there. Wow. So just make sure uh, manually review the articles, do a grammar check on this, and then post it on your uh, website. So once you have gone through the article, you can go here and select WordPress tab and select the website where you want to post the article. Actually, you can either publish the article or you can add your article as a draft on your website so you can review or make changes there. So we will go ahead and publish the article here and we'll click post. So what uh, Text Builder will do is that it will automatically post the article on your website and you will see a link here which says published on this date and it will also provide you a link to the published article. So we will see how it looks like on our website. So yeah, here you go. This article looks great. The information is accurate because we provided Text Builder the accurate information, the updated information. It's not an outdated information what you get in normal chat GPT. So yeah, this looks great. I'll be adding the link to this article in uh, the description of the uh, video. So you can also see how the quality of the article which has been created. Of course, this is unedited version. You can go ahead and edit your articles. So yeah, it looks great. So this is how you can create factually correct articles using Text Builder Autopilot. Don't miss the upcoming Text Builder tutorials by subscribing to our channel. We appreciate your support. Thank you.